one but two standing ovations from members of the Tennessee State Senate. Betty Asha is from South Sudan. She was severely beaten and left for dead for refusing to be a child bride in her country in Africa. But her story does not stop there. Erica Lunsford shares why Senate members wanted to honor her in such a special way, Erica. Amanda, Chris Hurley, the man who took Betty Asha in, told the General Assembly it's rare in life to get a chance to meet someone like her. I am still recovering from the overwhelming joy that I got from that amazing recognition. Maryville College junior Betty Asha celebrated in a way she couldn't believe from members of the Tennessee State Senate. It actually made me feel more motivated. I feel more appreciated and I feel more loved. I just feel that all that I've gone through is paying me off. Asha was presented with a Senate resolution for her hard work as a legislative intern for Senator Ramesh Akberry of Memphis and for her difficult journey from South Sudan to Maryville College. I think all interns bring their own um, their gifts to the table, but I think Betty's life experiences, her willingness to sacrifice herself for others, her dedication to her education, and just her steadfastness, I think, stands out. Uh, she's amazing. I mean, she is a hero. She's a shero. Um, and I think that that has, has made her different from any intern I've ever had. The resolution highlights moments from Asha's younger years, like when she refused to become a child bride, which led to torture and exile by her tribal leaders, and her heroic work to move almost 2,300 South Sudanese people from war to safety in Uganda. Senator Akberry says those things, along with Asha's strong work ethic, called for the unusual honor. So usually, um, members will honor their interns for their service in the legislature. I felt it was important for us to honor our intern, honor Betty for her service before the legislature. And so we presented it to her on the Senate floor, which is unusual, but she's just so worthy of that honor. The sky is the limit. Whatever Betty wants to do, she can do because she's amazing. As for what Betty Asha wants to do, she's still trying to figure it all out, but she knows she wants to continue her education and give back to others. I am actually pursuing to pursuing something that will give me that sense of service. If if being an ambassador or if going back to my country and work for the government or even like becoming either as a senator or a governor or whatever God has for me, I still have no idea, but I'm just doing the right thing. All right, Erica, tell us about the nonprofit that Betty and her adoptive family started. Well, the nonprofit is currently taking care of four kids back in South Sudan, helping them to gain a new beginning, something like Asha once did. She says in the future they hope to educate more kids in their country, specifically young girls. Amanda? All right, pretty cool. Erica, thanks.